In this video we're going to look at creating a sub recipe. So a sub recipe is an item that you might make in bulk that then forms part of a full recipe. For example, you may, might make a large batch of bolognese sauce, which would be your sub recipe, which then forms part of your spaghetti bolognese, which would be your recipe. You can create sub recipes for beverages as well as food. For example, if you are pre-making a cocktail batch, which is what I'm going to do in our example today. So from your main kitchen cut dashboard, you need to head to menu costing and then sub recipes from the left hand tabs. What you will see listed is any existing sub recipes that have been created in your site, which you can amend if needed, or you can add a new one by clicking the green add new button. Kitchen Cut guides you through creating a sub recipe quite nicely. You just need to complete the boxes. First things first, selecting a name. So I'm going to make an espresso martini mix today. I'm going to keep the status as live as this sub recipe is ready to go. And the primary category and other category are for your own filing. So I'm going to put misc and cocktails. The yield is one of the most important things within your sub recipe. So I'm going to edit this today. And the yield is the amount that your sub recipe creates. So I'm going to make 750 millilitres of my espresso martini mix. And don't forget to click save once you've done this. If you don't amend your yield or you put your yield wrong, it will not be easy to translate into your recipe with the right amount. Select your revenue outlet and your item class. Don't worry about the financial settings on the sub recipe. As this is not a final recipe, it doesn't matter too much. We're going to add in our products. So once you click on the product name box, you can start typing in the item that you want to add, which will bring up all of the items from our suppliers. It's really important to ensure you are adding the correct item, which is also from the correct supplier as well. I'm going to add the Oro beans, as these are our standard espresso beans. I'm going to make 20 shots of espresso, which is about 160 grams. I'm also going to add my sugar syrup. I'm going to add 250 millilitres of this. So my two quantities here will add up to my total yield. You can add a sub recipe within a sub recipe and any extras here as well. Again, don't worry about the selling price for a sub recipe as it only forms part of your final recipe. You can ignore that. And you can add in any method, any critical control points and any service notes. These are particularly good if you are using this as a training tool for some of your team. You can also add images and videos too, if you would like. So if any of the products added today would have any allergens present, these would automatically populate directly from the information supplied from our suppliers. If you need to add any additional allergens, you can click and it will show that this dish now contains celery. If there is a risk of cross-contamination, for example, you have a lot of celery in your cocktail station, you could double click on it and say that there is a chance that it may contain. Again, you can add any additional notes if wanted and 